Hey friends. So I wanted to shoot this video to uh, summarize the Hampton Roads real estate market for last year and beyond and also kind of do my predictions for 2023. So to review, 2022 was an interesting year for real estate here in Hampton Roads, especially I'm mainly focused on Southside Hampton Roads. And what we saw was prices continue to go up. Uh, we saw an increase about 9% overall in the average uh, price, uh, the median home sale price. And we saw uh, continued multiple offers on houses, though it did start to slow down as we got towards the end of the year. Now keep in mind, we are still in a seller's market. Uh, and the seller's market is just based on how much inventory there is out there versus how much uh, people are buying. Uh, so, but to look back to 2020, there were 3,607 homes that were available for sale at the end of that year. Uh, 21, we were down to 2612. Um, now, at the end of 22, we were back up to 3114. So, still hadn't been, still not the level that we were at the end of uh, 2020, and definitely not at the level uh, that I think back, which seemed like just the other day, which is probably five to ten years ago, where there were uh, it's like 68,000 homes that were available for sale here in Hampton, Southside Hampton Roads. Uh, now, another interesting thing that happened uh, was the dramatic rise in interest rates. We saw interest rates at, at, at the beginning of 22 or end of 21 uh, were averaging around 3% for a regular 30-year fixed mortgage. And by the end of 22, we were seeing for a 30-year fixed mortgage rates that were averaging around 6%. And that is a dramatic change in the monthly payment that somebody is going to pay. And what happened with that is buyers' qualifications were reduced. So somebody who was approved for 500 maybe now can only buy four or three something. Uh, and so that definitely caused a slowdown in the market. However, again, it's still in a seller's market and there are still plenty of multiple offers happening uh, and we're in Southside Hampton Roads. Uh, so what do I expect for the upcoming year? Uh, well, let me say we have seen in other areas of the country where prices have actually dropped. Now, I am not expecting to see price drops on the whole um, throughout our area. In fact, I think that we may even have the potential to still see a slight increase over the year just based on the fact that we still have very low inventory and interest rates seem to have stabilized somewhat uh, so the because uh, I had certainly heard of interest rates you know people getting 30-year mortgages that were in the sevens I even heard somebody in the eights I mean of course that's going to vary depending on your credit rating uh, but if we can stay around sixes, maybe dip back into the fives, I think that's going to give some opportunities and it's still a reasonably low interest rate historically speaking. Uh, so I expect this year we'll continue to um, stay kind of in the seller's realm, but we're going to be heading towards a more neutral market. We're going to see houses stay on the market a little longer. There won't be that rush like there was last year when you were working with, uh, when I was working with buyers, if a house came on the market, you were kind of like, do I have one day or two days to go see this and turn in an offer? Uh, so as we start to shift towards a more neutral market, there'll be time and there'll be more houses to actually go look at. There were plenty of times um, in the previous years when, you know, if I had a buyer and I knew exactly what they were looking for, there may only be one or two houses that were available at a time to go see. Uh, whereas in the past, when we would go look at houses, we would go look at four or five houses and then maybe the next weekend we'd go look at another several houses. Um, and then we're gonna start to see as more houses come on the market, more of that kind of normal sort of action. So that's all I got. I expect to see another yeah, good year for Hampton Roads Real Estate. And yeah, as always, I don't think it matters what the market's doing. If you're looking to buy or you're looking to sell, it really should be about life events and not trying to time the market as to when you do that.